Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Zmickley and I'll be your instructor for the Digital Media Ethics 1100F. Um, and so I just wanted to say, I have a little video to say hi and uh, introduce myself a little bit. Um, as you can read in the description, um, I am a senior lecturer here at Texas State and I'm in our digital media faculty and I teach classes in um, web design and I teach the fundamentals of digital and online media. Um, and so, and I'm part of our digital faculty here. So, um, I've worked here for about uh, three years full time, and I've been um, working here for about uh, five years um, part time and full time. Um, I do some other uh, things around here at the School of Journalism and Mass Comm, um, including I'm in the Mass Comm Week committee, and um, I take care of all of our social media and uh, web presence uh, for the school. So. Um, I also do some freelance work uh, in web design, um, but uh, particularly digital media is my focus, and um, and so I'm excited to be teaching this class on digital media ethics. It's the first time that we've really done that for uh, the school, um, focusing specifically on digital media ethics, um, and so it's really exciting because we are in changing times um, where where the internet and uh, social media has really changed a lot about the way that journalists communicate um, and also about the way that the audience um, communicates. And so um, we're just kind of going to jump in a little bit here and you guys will see some uh, module, uh, some information in the module below. Um, but before we get started, I want to um, kind of give you a little tour of tracks and what you're going to be looking for and how we're going to be turning in assignments and working this class. So this is just a quick tutorial on tracks and what we'll be doing exactly and how we'll be using tracks. Um, hopefully that you're watching this video, you have found the track site. Um, so what I'll ask you to do is just go to the syllabus page and skim through that and make sure that you're okay with everything that is discussed there. A few highlights, uh, I do have contact information. If you want to contact me, you can do that through email or Twitter. Um, and then also I've got some office hours that are here in San Marcos, Texas State. If you uh, ever are in the area or want to stop by, my office hours are listed there. I'm in Old Main, uh, 2.30. Then we also have email. Just make sure that you um, are using your email. That is the number one way that I'll use to contact you. So make sure that that is working. Then we go down to some course objectives. There are many course objectives to this course. Go ahead and read through those if you want to and let me know if you have any questions on it but in general what we're doing is we are taking a look at ethics as it relates to digital media specifically so we'll be looking at a lot of the traditional journalistic ethical values and standards that have been used traditionally and how those are kind of changing or being rethought about in today's digital media environment where social media has really transformed the way that journalists and media professionals communicate with their audience, there's a lot to think about. So we will be covering a lot of those kinds of topics as well as different learning outcomes. And those are demonstrated by what you have here is our course grade breakdown. And so you'll see most of your, the biggest chunk of your grade really will be these case studies. And I'll talk about those in a second when I go over the online module. But in general, you're going to have four different case studies. Every single one is going to be due on Friday. Every Friday, you're going to have a new case study due. And those are going to be submitted on tracks. And you're really just going to look at a situation that is based on the topics that we learned about in that particular online module that week. And you will be analyzing the situation and discussing what you would do if you were the media professional in that particular uh, situation. Then beyond that, you're not just going to have to create your own case study, but you're also going to respond to your peers' case studies as well, and that's worth 25 points each. So while your case studies are due Friday, these responses are due the following Monday. That'll give you the weekend and Monday to go through and respond to your peers' posts from the past week. Then you've got quizzes that we'll talk about in a second as well. Those are done every single week. And then you've got a final exam that is going to look at one final case study. And then you will also be required to interview a professional at some point this semester and then ask them some ethical questions as well. Then down here we've got no textbook, 
don't worry about buying anything. We will be using excerpts from different textbooks, one of which is The New Ethics of Journalism, and that is put out by the Pointer Institute, and that's something that I will be using and referring to a lot this semester, but it is not required that you buy it. Then attendance obviously is not mandatory because it's an online class, but there will be assigned due dates, so make sure that you stick with those. Uh, just in general, Every single Friday, you're going to have a case study due. Every Sunday at midnight, you're going to have a quiz due. And every Monday at midnight, you're going to have to submit your responses to your peer reviews. So stick to those, and then obviously we'll have the final exam, and, and you'll have to interview a professional that will be due at the very end. But I do not accept late work. So whatever you're trying to submit online, if it's past the deadline, it will not allow you to submit it on tracks. So all course material will be provided in these online modules, and I'll get to that in a second, but that's what you're going to use to kind of learn uh, every week. It's a learning tool, learning lesson that is provided completely on tracks, and I'll get to that in a second. Then just make sure that as we discuss different topics, we really are going to be touching on a lot of maybe some deeply seated you know, and important issues and, and things that you may be feeling very strongly about. And so the only thing that I ask is that you be respectful to other people's opinions, that uh, it is civil, <laughs> the conversations and the comments that you leave on your peers' forum posts will remain civil and respectful. And then academic honesty, we definitely value that here in the School of Journalism. We have to make sure that everything that you do in this class is completely original work. So uh, that's obviously not just an ethical issue, but also a legal issue. So just make sure that everything you post in this class is your own idea, your own thought, and, um, and then link to wherever you are. If you're going to source a different uh, website or, or resource, then go ahead and just link back to it. And then if you have a disability, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to accommodate whatever disability you may have. So that's just a rundown of the syllabus. Please let me know if you have any questions on that. Now, um, before I get to the online module and the forums, I want to run through the gradebook. If you, uh, whenever we go through a project, you'll just kind of go through and look at your quizzes, look at anything that you might have done in the class. Those are going to be listed on the gradebook on tracks and then go ahead and click on email if you need to contact anybody via email. Now the main thing that we're going to be using tracks for is your online module and that's going to be, you can see that this week uh, you will be learning about the format and structure of the course. Obviously if you are watching this video you've already found it but you'll see that as you go through this you've got you know PDFs that you can read um, and then links that I'm going to have you read as well. Sometimes you'll see these little options where I'm going to ask you to respond to a little situation, in which case you would just click add comment. You'd go ahead and add a quick comment and then save it and then continue on with the module. Uh, there are, you can see another PDF and then some videos. And so these are basically your textbook. Now at the very end of every online module, you're going to see a case study and a quiz. The quiz is due Sunday by midnight. Uh, the case study is due Friday by midnight, so you're going to want to make sure you get that case study done. Um, it's going to be, again, 400 to 500 word response to what you learned up there, and it's always going to be linked right here. Now, in addition, again, to your case study, you will also need to provide a thoughtful response, and so these are going to be due Monday by uh, midnight, every pretty much every Monday. That will give everyone a chance to post by Friday, and then it will give you the weekend to create your comment and response to somebody else's. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the case study one just so you get an idea of what we're looking at. This is done all through the forums and so really what's happening is it's linking to the forum but uh, you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and click here so you can see this is what you'll see case studies. If you have any general questions and want to post on the general discussion board for this class go ahead and feel free to do that here but in general all your case studies will be found under the case studies heading in this forum area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first case study and you'll see that um, I'm going to view the full description. You can toggle that up and down. Now it's got the whole list of basically the rundown of what I want you to read for this first submission. Now 
it's going to also have a, an attachment that I want you to use in your response, but the place that you're going to provide your response is you're going to click up here where it says start a new conversation. And this is going to let you create your post. So I would say, you know, my response one or something like that. You would provide all the content that you wanted to say all about it. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click post. And so you can see that I posted right here. Now, I can see who authored it and I can see what time it was done so you don't necessarily need to put your name in the response or whatever you're doing but but it would might help if you put your name there now um, if now beyond just your case study you're also going to have to respond to another student's project so in which case once you're done with your post you will see other students populate here as well and so I would go ahead and click on that other students post and from there I can click reply and that's going to be where you're going to provide your response a thoughtful three sentence to you know three paragraph response on what you think about your peers um, forum post so everyone should be getting responses to their posts and um, just trying to keep a conversation lively and feel free to you know comment and comment back if somebody po posted on your forum um, you'll probably want to provide them with a response to their response as well. But you will be graded on the forum post, and then you'll be also be graded on your response. You have to have one response uh, every single week. So that's really just a little bit about the forum post and then the case study, what you'll be doing there. Then uh, you'll also have a quiz at the end of every module, in which case you'll just click here and then you can kind of go through. Once you're done with the quiz, you can take it as many times as you need to and it will record the highest grade. And so that again is going to be due every Sunday by midnight. Now you can go back and look at your feedback if you click on assessments. You should be able to see every quiz that you've taken. You look at the feedback and that'll give you. Uh, it'll tell you not the answers but it'll tell you the questions that you got wrong so you can go back and look through that online module and find the answers and then retake the quiz if you need to so that's just a little bit about our track site um, it's what we'll be using to submit all of our assignments and then we're going to be using it as our learning tool uh, for pretty much the whole of this class